previously on Prey. Morgan Yu searches the hardware labs, picking up anything of value he can find while looking for what he needs. Yeah, it might work better if you're closer to the target. Might be an idea to do that up. Yeah. Glue that up and Aha. an airlock. which means you can go outside. Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Last thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Yeah. That's something that would be useful to have. A propulsion system so that we can get it. When outside of areas with artificial gravity still working. Oh, not so tough now, are you? like there's no way in there. Although there must be a way in, otherwise... Oh, wait. I think I saw something in the way. And it requires you to have the ability to pick things up that... You are woefully inadequate to do so. At least right now. But perhaps later, you might. Requesting new operator. Transtar Cobalt 14, engineering class operator, ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Um, you do know you can patch your suit up. Inspector, your suit is compromised. Ready to complain. Thank you, R2D2. Yeah. I see something useful there. Um, and I can tell you that was pretty pointless. 
and it's attracted the attention of a phantom. Mr. Yu, if it starts singing, my advice is, well, you're probably going to do this anyway. Just shoot it in the head. Oh. That phantom appeared to leg it before you had a chance to. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, Mr. Yu. It'll probably turn up again later. so you can make neuromods. And this place is falling apart from within. Ah, this is what's happening on the other side. not finished here yet. Well, that's certainly one way of getting up. And look! A recycler and a fabricator. All in... Well relative walking distance and oh look how appropriate wait are you sure it's brown and black oh how appropriate at least that way bow loosening terror will not be a problem probably not going to run out of ammo for that weapon. I use that term loosely. Anytime soon. need to make that weapon. Oh, sorry, not weapon. That's zero-g propulsion method. Yeah, the arsons. Ah, and it's also good for inside. Yeah, you have enough 
materials to spare for making ammo. Oh yes! More shooty! It means you have a higher chance of survival. So no need to change your seat. And I assume you have a helmet in that case. Yeah, you kind of need that if you want to breathe. Certainly, something to get an EMP charge. Yeah, that is clearly locked, so it's a good idea to go in through the food sections. Yeah, best not to waste time. Well, I'm sure you'll get around to that eventually. Ooh, Neuromods! Yeah, you could certainly use some of those. You can't have too many of those. At least, as far as I'm aware. And... Yeah, it's best to keep your exposure to that to remember. As last I checked, your suit isn't lead lined. Or indeed, lined with anything that would provide protection against radiation. Seriously, all that for some bullets? Yeah. I seem to recall a medical operator printer on the upper level. Yeah, you might want to go there before heading outside.
you are our latest contestant on I'm So F***ing Dead. And I see you want to join too. Yeah, good idea. Let's give up on Soul. Sorry about that. Sometimes I can't help myself. <sighs> I take it I'm not the only one who has no time for fools in a life or death situation. Yeah, best look around. The password might be lying around somewhere. What's about down there? Yeah, hacking not necessary with this workstation. Uh. Well, that code was a bit redundant. Well, if you see. More of the same, you know what to do. Fill them with lead, or whatever those bullets are made from. Okay, good to know. Well, let's see what Dr. Forstein has in his office. Well, besides a phantom, obviously.
Yeah. Get ready to open fire. Not exactly. The director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he admired you. Unfortunate. Oh, yeah. You just put some out of his misery. Look around for anything you can use. Yeah. You can always use med kits. Can't access the safe now. You can always go back for it later. Besides, aren't you forgetting something? It's important and you need it to view the rest of that message. Yeah, and before you do, you might want to turn any junk you find, along with redundant weapons, into raw materials then. Yeah. You definitely don't want to miss that. In fact, it might be a good idea to use it. It's up to you. Just remember to come back for that safe later when you either find the code or have a good enough hacking ability to hack it over. Yeah. Definitely dead.
Oh, don't worry about that. You can come back for it later. Requesting new operator. Yeah, you can certainly use that for your birds. Transtar Pyramid 490 Medical Class Operator ready to deploy. Diagnosing third degree burn. Perform detergent irrigation to realize thermal tissue lattices. Try to relax. Good as new. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Yeah. It's a good idea to get rid of those burns before you become a Scottish poet. Yeah. First. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Head to the recycler. to clear some space in your inventory. Then head outside and get what you need from that doctor's corpse. Okay, is it just me or would Space Oddity by David Bowie be quite fitting for
what's going on here. Well, look at it this way. You're not going to run out of oxygen anytime soon. Ah, yes. That's what you're outside of Talos Swan for. Well, outside of the areas with artificial gravity and oxygen. Let's see what we have here. And it's a safe requiring a hacking ability that you don't possess yet. And you keep collecting ammo for weapons that you don't have yet. Spare parts might come in handy. And I guess. This is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I'm not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... <sighs> Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, uh, let's just... Uh, for the time being... Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, uh, let's uh, talk about it tomorrow. You never did. Yes, uh, this is... Uh, this is Dr. Calvino. Ah, well, I suppose you've turned in, uh, or you're ignoring me. Uh, I just want to... Well, I, I will be a, a little late for my shift tomorrow, but... Uh, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro-lens array. You see, the, the old one is... it's garbage. And uh, they get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clyde is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. You found him. Not surprising. Well done. Clearly, he died from exposure to the outside before... before the mimics did. Oh uh, yes. You might as well do that. As there was one room that you could access. Well, you can now. And now you can access the workshop of Dr. Kelvin.
Mamma mia. You really did a number on this. As I wouldn't be surprised if he did this on purpose. Knowing that. He's had it. Well, no one else died as... Well... It appears that... He didn't want anyone to die but him. As not everyone was affected by... What was going on. And yes, I know. Sounded so serious at before. Please don't point that out. Best head back inside. There's nothing else for you to do. At least not right now. Yeah, back inside and head back into his workshop. Yes, I know what you wanted that phantom to eat, but... Ooh. That could be useful in that IT room around the lobby. With a recycler charge. It's something to think about, isn't it? Hello, nice to see you. Diagnosing superficial injury. Nothing affordable medical. Please hold still.
Firstly, you'll need a key card to get into that room and take on that phantom. Secondly, it looks like you have a new weapon. I like that gun. Go and claim it! And also claim the materials that... I'm sure you'll make use of. Right, you've got an experimental weapon. Let's test this in a real combat scenario. Where the enemy has a chance to fight back. Yeah, it's a workplace problem even out here. How will the Q-beam fare in a real combat scenario? And what will be within Dr. Calvino's workshop? Find out next time on Prey.